I'm getting ready to take off on a late fall camping trip. I'm going to try and meet up with another moto vlogger and I'm just going through right now uh, checking tires, fluid levels, and T-clocking the bike, uh, making sure that that is all ready to go. Uh, I'm not, I'm going to forego the the packing parts because if you watch any of my prior videos, I cover what I often carry and uh, the packing procedures. Um, uh, with fall, probably will be a probably will be a bit wet and colder, so um, that's fine. I'm gonna take rain gear and, and warm clothing, so that none of that should be a issue. I'm gonna try and go a little bit lighter. Um, I I think the ground in the campgrounds uh, uh I'm hoping soft, so I'll forego the sleeping pad and just try and try and go light this time. Not going real far, so um. I think we're about ready to head out. Well, I think I'm on the final stretch to the campground. Not sure how much farther it is. I'm coming into this. From, I'm coming into this from a different direction. I think this is going to be a shorter, shorter way to get to it, but. Not if I get lost. We'll find out. I think the other moto vlogger will be showing up later in the day. I kind of wanted to get out early, and while it's kind of wet and cold, I wanted to secure the campsite, make sure we can get one. I mean, we should be able to, but you just never know. I'm not really set up real well for cold weather camping, and uh, I haven't really taken time to get set up for it because so many places I believe it's after this month or maybe it's into the next one they start closing up so then you're back to limited uh, where do you go you know there's a few few free places but um, yeah sometimes you really got to travel to those this is nice in here who knows, maybe cold weather camping is what I need to get into here, so we'll see how this run goes. And uh, this time of the year starts getting damp in the woods, and uh, you can always start a fire, but it's just getting the starter in the wood, and I mean, you can't really haul anything out much with the bike, so we'll see how that goes. I believe the other person joining me. I think when it comes to out being in the woods and uh, starting fires, I believe he's actually better than me. So if I can't get one going, um, then there'll be him up to bat. Cat was sitting there by my bike, walk away, come back, sit by it, walk away, come back, sit by it, giving me, giving me these look, this look. He keeps walking around my bike and following me around, probably wondering, where are you going? Again? set up. Oh, come on, you son of a
This is a really nice REI camp chair. Yeah. You can have mine right there. <laughs> it's it's really it's, it's a really good one. A new addition to my pool of camping stuff is a solar charger so I can keep my phone charged. So far working great. So the ground is cold and wet. So by uh, putting the dry wood underneath it. it and that's these here. Yeah. It keeps it from uh, the, the cold ground sucking the heat out of the fire and allows it to get a little bit more rough. Just a little bit quicker. Okay, we'll learn something there. But you can hear some of this wood is actually alive still and wet because you can hear it steaming. Okay. So well we should be alright. Okay. Smell the red milk the way. Okay. Well it's not quite like a beef, but um, it's like turkey. Kind of. <laughs> well, we could catch this fire and the table with stuff with the Lucy light illuminating it, but doesn't really come out in the video real well. Um, I don't think people can see that. That might be a good thing. This is the view from inside my tent. Yes, that is my glow stick. And there's the fire. This is the morning, so fires burn down and loading the bikes up and I think the other guy he's gonna make some coffee or food briefly and then we'll probably hit the road